And now, race fans, here were those most famous words in motorsports, your grand marshals, Amy Smart and Carter Osterhaus. Gentlemen, and one fine lady, start your Six caution out again. Like Dylan's been up against the wall. They're going to put four tires on this time. They did not on their initial stop, and the reason that they stopped the first time and he was back in all this traffic was because the car was a bit loose at the start, but it put him into a fuel window. They were calculating, and after they stopped for that top off, they could have gone and made it on four more stops, which they can obviously still do from here. And then Austin was trying to speed down the pit lane to beat the pace car. That's a no no. He's being so admonished by NASCAR race control and will go to the end of the line. If somebody goes in the lane, you've been running in like that. And you can see how much that has slowed Joey Logano down okay. right there. Whoa, Kirk Bush. Yeah. Surprise, Joey Logano. 98 is Johnny Sauter this week. Here comes Junior. How about a three way race for the lead? But you know, at those speeds, you can't just stop and turn the car down and, and change direction so quickly. You saw what it cost Joey Logano there wins at this track and look who is once again out front at Michigan it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. but an interesting day so far as you can see Jimmy Johnson has come down pit road Jamie Little what's going on well you see him on pit road Rick Hendrick just walked by me and just shook his head not exactly sure what's going on I'm going to talk to Chad Kanaus you guys and I'll let you know what Jimmy's saying can't hear anything on the radio at this point and you can hear Jimmy is not coming up to speed, so apparently he's just going around the racetrack, perhaps to go back behind the wall to the garage, and we'll follow up. Remember, talked about engines being under high strain here at these high speeds. Oh no, I think we're blowing up, boys. All right, baby, if you think you are, get down below the line. I got about 10 back. And now behind the wall, and the Michigan jinx for Jimmy Johnson continues. Yeah, for Jimmy Johnson and these Hendrick engines here. Blew up four times in the last two races here. Ricky Stenhouse, and there's the damage. Running 10th and into the wall in turn two. Yeah. A rough season so far for him. Yeah, I have to wonder, though, if uh, that wasn't a situation that maybe the right front went down there. Well, and we saw uh, that some here in June.
here's Kurt Busch, 78, looking for the lead on Denny Hamlin. I think Kyle is having fun. I know this might not be very funny, but it is kind of funny. The gift cars have the five cars surrounded. <laughs> we captured that a few minutes ago, I believe. Kyle was uh, behind Casey Kane, who had both Denny Hamlin and Matt Kenseth just in front of him. Of course, referencing back to Casey's Twitter uh, rant after Watkins Glen when he was involved in that crash with Kane, where he said he was going over to the Joe Gibbs Racing Shops to talk to anybody that would come out the door. Trouble in turn two has just brought the caution flag out again. It is Dale Earnhardt Jr. Running seventh at the time. I'll look at it real quick. I think we can put a tire on it. If you get a good look at it. We can at least get another lap. Just a little bit too snug. Right side tires only. Up one round of the track bar, Doc. Brad Keselowski said freer this run just like the last run. Two right side tires for the two car. Joey Logano, little three and three, little tight, one and two, right side only. As they scream off of pit road, Dale Earnhardt Jr. sits still. They're going to push the 88 back to the garage area. It's going to be close between the, the two car out right here and the 16. They about touched. 22 first. Yep. Boy, look at the, look at the two RCR cars. Oh, looks like, looks like Harvick. Uh, Harvick by just an inch or so. By a splitter. Wow. Did he actually hit him there? That was pretty close. I, I believe so. Biffle might have a little damage on the left front. Yeah. It's Jeff Burton, whose team went for four tires. Burton from third back to 16. You know, we were just talking about when you do that, you're going to have to be patient. And I'm sure Jeff Burton will be again, knowing he'll get two tires on that last pit stop they'll make. Oh, look out. Boy, there was some give and take there. Oh, back to the They're not done. Bobby Labonte off turn four. Caution's out. Right. Caution's out here. He's got a right front down. Running in 27th place and the last car on the lead lap at the moment. And Labonte went around off turn number four and we see the seventh yellow flag of this race. Got loose. I thought it was going to work for him. Trouble turn two. Kyle Busch. Whoa. God, I can't believe right, get a roll. Wow. Get a roll and yellow's out. He had about five forward. close calls right there. That could have been huge. I'm sure that maybe if we see that at a different angle, it's farther away, but it sure looked like those cars were missing by inches. Scary. Kyle running in 19th. And turn two, the trouble spot for the majority of the incidents in this race. Strikes again. He's got some pretty good damage on the back of that one. Mark Martin to the inside of Keslowski Dock. 39 to go. Four wide. Will they make it through one? Yellow flag number nine is waving over the Michigan International Speedway. The Pure Michigan 400 just went from tough to tougher for Kyle Busch, who just spun out off of turn number four. Here comes Brad. And pit stops here. I'm yeah, that's, that's, very that's, surprised that's by very this. Curious. I really am. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious why they do that. Brad Kozlowski, Paul Wolf said, we just can't take a chance. We're three to four short. Can't save that much. Over 20 cars in the lead lap. We cannot take a chance on finishing 25th by running out of gas, so they had to come down and fill it up. Right side tire. Mark Martin, the race leader. Kevin Harvick was inside. Joey Logano, three wide to the bottom of turn one. Can Kurt Busch get a run? Yeah, he might be in second place by the time he's off turn two here. Oh, 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 oh. 
new track record in quality. Run out here if we don't get a caution, but got to go for it here. Roger. He will be late. That's right. Looking good right now, Mark. Yeah, that's the way to run out. Yeah. yeah. Never did like running there, did There it you? goes. Yep. That's too bad. Out of fuel. Count. Count to three to go. Yeah, four, get the can. New leader, Joey Logano. Now the question is going to be if they have enough fuel. And coming to the white flag. One more lap for Logano and Harvick. Does Logano have enough fuel? Roger Penske, headquartered in Detroit, not far down the road. Always a huge, important race for the captain. He used to own this racetrack. For Joey Logano, a win that could make all the difference between getting into the championship and having a chance or not. Half a lap to go. Well, I tell you what, as a driver, he's done a terrific job here today of saving enough fuel and having the fastest car here this weekend. He started first, he's going to finish first. It wasn't that simple in between, but Joey Logano takes the checkered flag of Michigan.